It's important to think of the alt-right as an umbrella classification that covers groups with the fundamental belief that Western culture is under attack by multiculturalists and who regard mainstream conservatives as weak for not sufficiently promoting the interests of the white population. Many alt-righters also believe that the white race is superior to all others. So they tend to be anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim, anti-LGBTQ, and anti-Semitic, yet they often rebuff the racist label, arguing that they're simply pro-white. Estimates show that there are more than 900 organized hate groups across the country. While that number includes about 200 black separatist groups, the rest run the gamut from pro-white groups who hope to blend into mainstream society to more extreme organizations that have been around for decades, like the Ku Klux Klan and neo-Nazis. Among the largest alt-right network is Vanguard America. They showed up en masse at the deadly Unite the White rally wearing their signature uniform, white polo shirts, khaki pants, and carrying black flags emblazoned with a white eagle logo. The term itself, alt-right, was coined by Richard Spencer in 2010. Since then, the movement has gained momentum, and leaders like Spencer and Matthew Heimbach, chairman of the Traditionalist Worker Party, are specifically targeting young college students for recruitment. Spencer makes controversial and highly publicized speeches, while Heimbach encourages students to organize on campus. Overall, public sentiment has grown more sympathetic toward these groups. A 2017 survey found that roughly one in six Americans, that's more than 54 million people, either supports the alt-right or say it's acceptable to hold white supremacist or neo-Nazi views.